Hello and welcome to the video. This is a video, a first video into quite a short little series about this model here. This is the new Hobby King Paramotor that has been announced this week. Now I've been lucky enough to have one for a couple of weeks and I've been playing with it here. So what I'm going to do is in this video show you what uh, comes in the box and how to build the cart and then in the next video I'll go through how to set up the radio. It's not as tricky as you may have seen, there are some uh, shortcuts and I've hopefully made it a little bit more simple to set up and I'll share the model memory that I'm using on a Tronus radio if you want to uh, just download that and have a go. And then in the last video, we'll actually go through how you uh, attach the canopy and set up the brake lines and all that stuff on the model as well before hopefully showing you it flying. So this one is all about unboxing and actually putting the cart together. This part of it is covered in the manual that's on the website. Uh, the manual actually links you to a couple of other much longer videos that someone else has already done. I think the gentleman was actually involved in the creation of this model with Hobby King. So a big thank you to him for helping Hobby King bring this out. Um, I've been interested in just trying something like a paramotor for ages, but they've always been pretty expensive models. This isn't ridiculous money. So without any further ado, let me start talking about it as I show you how it comes in the box. So this is how it comes in the box. The box itself is much smaller than you expect. That's because most of the space is taken up with the aluminium gondola that's quite beefy and heavy. And as we open it up here, there are the, the back part of the tricycle, they're the back wheels that need to pop on. Um, we'll show how to do that in a moment. There is the actual canopy itself. That's a 2400 millimeter sail that's uh, made of ripstop fabric with polyethylene lines, a uh, couple of brakes and everything set up in there. Then we have the actual aluminium gondola itself or the cart, some people I've heard call it. Uh, this is my first paramotor. I've not had one of these before, so I'm really excited about this. I've flown helicopters, multi-rotors, planes, wings, all kinds of stuff, but never one of these. Now this is a really heavy piece of kit. We have the front wheel, we have some high torque servos here on the sides that's going to uh, be the brake line controls. We have a 50 amp ESC with a 5 amp BEC in it and we're going to need it to run these two servos because it's going to be under a bit of uh, stress. We have the motor, a 3530 1400 kV brushless motor and that's going to be swinging a 10 by 4.7 inch prop. So there isn't a lot in terms of uh, the pieces here. We're going to have to pop the back part on. So we're just going to undo those four screws here on this plastic bit. Uh, this also holds the ESC protector um, and that's going to put the back piece in. But I'm surprised how blooming sturdy this is. Now the actual gondola itself needs to be pretty heavy to fly. So there is enough room on here even when you've got your battery on to put something like a GoPro or something to get the right weight. Now this is the bag that you can keep the canopy in when uh, when you're not using it. So that's a really nice addition because once it's all connected, I'm probably not going to ever disconnect it from the gondola. And then in these two bags, we have most of the other pieces that we're going to need. In the first bag, we have a couple of cable ties. We're going to need those to connect the prop protection hoop at the back, along with a couple of uh, connectors for the actual lines themselves. Then we have these things, which are, again, uh, aluminium. Looks like they're powder coated, very nicely made. And these are going to go around the motor at the back and hold the plastic hoop in place that's going to go around the outside of the prop. Uh, that's to hopefully stop lines getting caught up and wrapped around the prop. And we'll probably end up having to disable the brake on the ESC. But we'll come back to that. So that's a nice sturdy thing. And then at the bottom of the bag, we have the actual hoop itself, which is going to connect to those pieces. And you can kind of see here where uh, where those ribs are going to fit in and be cable tied around. And the last piece then, we have the prop. That's that 10 by 4.7 inch propeller. So now we've got all the pieces on the desk. First job is to undo the screws for the plastic part at the back that's going to be the back part of the trike wheel setup. So just undo those four screws. Again, you're going to need an Allen key and you're going to need a little socket. And just take those off, pop the wheels in place and pop that back on. 
Next job we need to do then is take out all the screws from around the motor. There's four screws going through that holds the motor into position and there's two big screws at the top that's going to hold where the actual canopy is going to connect. So what we need to do is you need to fit these aluminium holders for the prop ring into the back. Now they are a very snug fit. So what I did, I took it to the bench and used a little vise to just apply the pressure and push them into position. But they've got little tabs so they're not going to fall out. Once that's in place, pop it onto the back of the gondola and then do all the bolts back up. I'd recommend not doing all the bolts up until you've got everything through the back because it's a little bit fiddly to get it all back on, but once it's in place, it'll tighten up great. Once that's done, then get hold of the uh, prop protecting hoop and just put that into position keep it in position with cable ties. I found that it's again a very snug fit so I used a gentle pressure with some pliers just to push it into position. The cable ties I think are a little bit thin. I'm going to keep an eye on those as I fly around um, but hopefully this ring will keep the lines out of the way of the prop when, uh, when we're flying around and uh, when the canopy all collapses uh, when we've actually brought the thing into land. The only thing to do as part of that is to attach the big U-shaped piece that goes on the front. That's where the majority of the lines from the canopy are going to come down to. The brake lines are going to come onto the pieces that attach to the servo. And then the prop just fits onto the back. Now this is a 10 by 4.7 inch prop. I'd probably go and make sure that it's all balanced up. But I wouldn't fit this yet. I'd make sure that everything is set up. The prop's one of the last things that you're probably going to put on before you go out to fly. So here it is all together. It's gone together really nicely. Uh, it does feel like it needs a little pilot. And the last job here is going to be to set up the radio. But join me in the next video where I'll just concentrate on doing that. There are a couple of tips and tricks here to make that all work. Now this is designed for a 3S battery. Um, even with this battery here, I'm going to be using one of these Rhino 5000 3S batteries that's going to fit into the tray at the bottom. Even with this in place, it's going to be a little bit light by a couple of hundred grams. So there's definitely going to be room here to maybe for the maiden flight, I might see about maybe fitting a GoPro pointing up into the canopy so we can get some footage of that while it's flying around. So I'll see you next time where we'll spend some time with the Tyrannus. We'll actually set it up so that all the controls are working. And once we're happy that everything is set up, we'll unpack the canopy and we'll make sure everything is right with it and then attach it to the two rings that are on the edge of the kind of U-bar at the top. And then we'll also connect and set up the brake lines that will connect to the two virtual arms that are connected to these high torque servos. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.